Hello, everybody, and welcome to our member spotlight. My name is Andrew Keneally. I'm WSRI's communications director. Uh, we are so glad to be joined today uh, with uh, Mary Ann Saylor, who's the director of the Pennsylvania Bureau of Workers' Compensation, uh, a longtime member of WSRI. Uh, Mary Ann has served in her position since 2019, and before that has uh, 25 years of experience in the workers' compensation arena. Uh, representing all stakeholders, employers, uh, insurance companies, uh, and injured workers. Marianne, how are you today? I'm great. Thank you, and and I'm happy to be here. Great. So, uh, Marianne, as we talked about, the purpose of our member spotlights are, is really just to have a conversation with some of our members to find out how you learned about WSRI, um, you know, the value that you get, uh, what is your favorite kind of research area, as well as if there are any times in which WSRI's research was really helpful. Uh, so let's let's kick things off. And our first question is, how did you first learn about WSRI? Uh, I learned about WCRI when I first started here at the Bureau, and I was told that there was a meeting that WCRI was hosting at our office um, the following week. Um, and that was uh, that we have the Pennsylvania Advisory Committee um, we are often the host of those um, meetings. There's two meetings a year. So my introduction was um, was that meeting. Um, and uh, at, at that, they were presenting some updates on research. I, I had no idea WCRI existed. Um, but I'm not sure how useful it would have been in my previous life as a practitioner. Um, of uh, workers' compensation law, but certainly it has been terrific um, with me being here at the bureau. Great. And in, in 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 the time that you've been in the bureau, how ha what is the value that you derive from your membership? You know, I really think there's a couple. One is those meetings. Those we have a meeting generally twice a year, right. um, and they're fantastic because they're bringing together all kinds of stakeholders. Um, and having uh, really interesting discussions around the research that um, WCRI is there to present or to, to give us a, a preview of. Um, and they, you, you know, your team is so wonderful at um, uh, being interested in, in our perspectives, um, in uh, taking questions back and getting back to us. Um, you know, and it's, it really comes across as a real exchange. Uh, so in that respect, I look forward to those meetings. Um, so in that respect, it's been terrific. The the other thing that I would say is is really kind of obvious, which is those benchmark benchmark studies. Since Pennsylvania is a benchmark state, um, it's so interesting for us to get that big picture perspective right. on um, you know where Pennsylvania is. Um, you know, watching the trends in general. Um, seeing how other states, when they've implemented changes, how has that impacted um, uh, either cost of claims or, you know, use of prescriptions, that sort of thing. Right. Um, so that's been really, really helpful. And it helps remind me, um, you know, that there is a big picture out there um, beyond, you know, what I'm doing on a day to day basis. I think that's great. And, and I'm definitely going to pass along the, those. Uh... Those nice words uh, to my colleagues. I also help out with some of our advisory committees in other states, and I find the same. Uh, I have the same feeling for them as you do. It's it's bringing all those various stakeholders, employers, insurers, uh, government officials, medical practitioners, labor, all together, all the stakeholders of the workers' comp system coming together to discuss research that not only compares what's going on in your state, but so many other states. And uh, I, I know that uh, stakeholders in other states really appreciate it. And uh, certainly we do too. Um, so our third question is: Is there a particular, uh, you know, is there a favorite WSRI study or research area? I know obviously ComScope is probably high up on that list. Uh, it it absolutely on your last is. Question. It is, um, but that that's kind of the obvious one. Um, and and really, what I would say is because I, immediately when I saw the question, I thought of the recent um, study regarding the psychosocial factors in right. physical therapy outcomes. And um, I, I immediately thought of that because that is the type of thing that I think is so interesting about what WCRI does, because it's not just cost of claims, number of claims, you know, right. th that sort of stuff. It's also looking at so many other aspects that impact workers' compensation. Um, there was the, uh, not that long ago, but there was one on workforce changes and how that right. was impacting things. Um, that's what I love. 
um, beyond, you know, the, the comp scope, but um, um, uh, because it helps give that really big picture perspective that, um, you know, it's hard to see on a day to day basis. Right. No, I think that's so right. I, um, you're, you're giving so many good compliments to these authors. They're going to be, you're going to make a lot of happy people after this, uh, after this interview. Um, but yeah, this, it's, it's the annual benchmark and I think is so valuable for folks, but it's also those topical studies that pick out some trends, uh, that people might not be seeing that, that are very valuable. Um, so my last question for you, can you describe a moment when WSRI's research was really helpful? I absolutely can. January 2nd of 2024. Very specific. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> um, the intermediate appellate court here in Pennsylvania issued a decision that said that the Bureau of Workers' Compensation could not use Red Book for, um, a source, as a source to resolve our medical fee disputes. And um, our regulations indicate that we need to identify a nationally recognized source um, to, to use in that in that in, in those instances. And um, we have been using Red Book since 1995. Never even considered another huh. source. Right. And um, so we quickly had to figure out, like, okay, what are the nationally recognized sources? Um, and the, uh, the head of our healthcare services division said, I'm going to go to WCRI because I fill out information about our medical fee dispute process. Right. Um, they, they send a survey every year. Um, and what was fantastic about that is, um, really within a few hours, we could look at what other states had reported as the sources that they use, how they use them. Um, I mean, it was a, it was such a tremendous resource to have all that information in one place. Right. Um, so that we could quickly identify, um, uh, those, those sources that we wanted to at least consider as, as possible, um, sources for us. Um, one of the reasons that we wanted to be able to act quickly is we had to, we could not process med fees. Um, those disputes, we couldn't process them because the only source that we had was Red Book. Um, so we really did want to be able to get the information, have good, reliable information, and then also be able to talk to our stakeholders about this is what other states are doing. These are what right. other states are using. Um, so it was just tremendously valuable to um, just know where to go for that information and then get it in a, in a, in a way that was so, so, um, uh, accessible um, and to know it's reliable. So um, it, it <laughs> I told you when you when you mentioned this question right. before that I've got a great example because it, it's so still so fresh in my mind how important it was that we could get that information really quickly. Well, I'm so glad we had an opportunity to speak and that and, and that you did have that example uh, so readily available. Uh, we want to obviously thank uh, thank you and the Pennsylvania Bureau of Workers' Compensation uh, for your support of WSRI. And I want to thank you for taking the time to talk to me today to share uh, with our members and non-members uh, the value you get uh, from your membership. So thank you so much, Marianne. Thanks for reaching out. I appreciate it. Great. Have a great day. You too.